Hello, good evening everyone. Hi. Hello, welcome in, welcome in. Good evening everybody. Hello, Internet Police Unit. Okay. <laughs> I hope you are doing good. Um, oh, no, there you are, somebody I need to be blocking, huh? I have actually, honestly, y'all, I've never had trolls on uh, Periscope, although I know a lot of people who've had people trolling. I've never had that. So, Internet Police Unit, you are blocked. Um, and those of you who um, can't say anything nice, you will be blocked as well. Um, but good evening, everybody. Hi, everyone joining. Thank you for joining for uh, tonight's Success Scope um, Sunday. Hi, Michelle Garrett. Good to see you. Um, tonight's su Success Scope, I am not going to keep you long. Um, and I actually was trying to do a simultaneous um, broadcast uh, on Facebook Live, but um, for some reason, my surface is not working too well, so I can't do uh, simultaneous on uh, six, on um, Facebook Live, but that's good. You, my Periscopers, will hear what I have to say first, and then I'll jump on Periscope, um, Facebook and do a similar message. But anyway, hi everybody. Thank you, Michelle, so much for inviting your followers. Uh, those of you who might be new to me or watching the replay, I want to introduce myself. My name is Tamika Isaac Devine. I am a success strategist and founder of the Possibilities Institute, where we work with women leaders and mothers, and we help them discover their leadership possibility, maximize their potential, and live a life that leaves a legacy. And just to tell you a little bit about myself and kind of how I um, came about uh, being a success strategist and helping women leaders and moms uh, find the success that they deserve and that they are destined to have in this life is um, I am a, a wife, a mom, a practicing attorney. I'm also an elected member of the city council here in Columbia, South Carolina. I've been serving for 14 years now. In addition to that, I am also a professional speaker, a certified personal and executive coach, and a best-selling author. So you can tell I wear lots and lots of hats. I like having a lot to do, um, but I like being successful. I like um, moving forward and walking in my purpose, the things that God has designed and destined me to do. And I'm a true believer and supporter of those that are walking in their destiny. I know that God has something uh, special for all of us to do. And so um, sometimes we need that encouragement, that confirmation, that extra push uh, to go into where we need to be. And so I'm excited that God has helped me um, to, to find my calling and my purpose. Yes, thank you, Michelle, so much for uh, inviting everyone. Um, but I'm, I'm glad that I've been able to do that. But um, I actually had an opportunity to speak um, earlier this week to a group of young people, and I'm scheduled to speak this Wednesday to another group of young people. And as I was talking to them and answering some questions, um, I decided to share with you, my followers, and those of you who listen to me, um, what I shared with them. And this is something I discovered a couple years ago um, that I truly support and believe in. One of the things when I work primarily with my co uh, coaching clients um, through my coaching practice or when I'm talking uh, to women and talking to them about leadership and goals and, and striving towards their goals, one of the things that I strongly, strongly uh, suggest to them and I work one-on-one -on -one with my clients about is making sure that you have a sponsor. And sometimes I find that that is a foreign practice or foreign concept to people. Um, and then when I talk to people about a mentor, everybody knows what a mentor is. I bet you all of you watching here today know what a mentor is. How many of you have a mentor? I'm sure probably most of you. Um, a mentor, of course, is someone that we have always learned and have been taught that we need a mentor to help us, um, give us advice, to, um, to support us in what our endeavors are. Um, but I will tell you that a couple years ago, and I brought it out here so I can share it with you. A couple years ago, I came across, or I actually attended a women's leadership um, 
a women's leadership forum. I was actually uh, present. I was actually invited to be one of the presenters on a different forum. <clears throat> but while I was there, some extraordinary uh, panels, and so I listened to some other panels. And one of the things I, I um, attended a panel. Uh, about women in leadership in like board positions. You know, there are uh, corporate boards that um, are not very diverse. And so a lot of corporate boards are looking to have women on those boards. And I really wanted to look into how do I get considered for a corporate board? <clears throat> and so I went to this forum. And during that forum, a lot of the women there were talking about being a sponsor for someone or who their sponsor was. And I'm sitting here thinking, what are they talking about? You know, you hear about sponsors and you think about AA or NA. Y'all know, y'all hear people talk about their sponsor in NA and AA. And I was looking at this, this um, group and I was like, okay, I know that they're not talking about a sponsor for NA. What are they talking about? What are they talking about? And they were talking about it so easily, like everybody in the room knew what they were talking about. And finally, about the fifth or sixth time that someone mentioned uh, a sponsor, the moderator said, does everybody in the room know what a sponsor is? And probably only about 10 people in the room raised their hand. And so everybody else was like, oh, wow, we didn't realize that. Let's go back and explain what a sponsor is. And so this was the first time I was introduced to the concept of a sponsor. But what a sponsor is, is actually it's more than a mentor. A mentor, of course, supports you and is somebody that can get you advice. But a sponsor is someone who actually helps open doors for you. Someone that serves kind of in a mentor role, but they do more. They open doors for you. They, um, bec uh, they serve as a recommendation for you, a source of, um, of empowerment for you. And so uh, thir after the conference, I, or after the panel, I asked a couple of the panelists about, you know, how can I learn more about a sponsor and that kind of thing. And they suggested to me this book, which I got, and it's a great read. So I suggest, and, um, for, I actually suggest it to all my clients and my coaching clients, but I want to suggest it to you too. It's called Forget a Mentor, Find a Sponsor. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever seen this book. It's by Sylvia Ann um, Hewlett. Um, and it's called The New Way to Fast Track Your Career. It's a great book if you all have not thought of it, uh, seen it before. I highly suggest you purchase it and read it. But anyway, this book talks about finding a sp sponsor. And what it does is it tells you that a sponsor is somebody that will help you get to the next level. And it's interesting to me that I think that once I've realized about this concept, I know people who have had sponsors for years. Um, primarily, there are... Um, People who um, have parents or have um, godparents or have aunts and uncles who are in positions. And so have y'all ever gone into a bank? This is the biggest thing. Have y'all ever gone into a bank and seen uh, a senior VP or, or a VP being, you know, a young white male? can't be honest. A young white male who has excelled and gotten to a position like VP or something in the bank. Have y'all ever seen that? Well, you know, a lot of times people think, oh, wow, you know, this person must have really done well in college or whatever. But a lot of us recognize that somebody had to open doors for that person. Somebody, they didn't get there sometimes, most of the time, not on their own merits. I'm not saying that they don't have the merits to get there, but sometimes in order to get to a certain place, you need somebody who can open a door for you, who can make an introduction to you, for you, who can uh, serve as a reference for you to get to where you need to be. Those people have sponsors, and they've had them for years. So I think so many of us, especially women, we have been in a position where we have not utilized this as a means to help us get to where we need to be. And so if, if those of you out here, those of you who said, yes, you have a sponsor, one of the things I want to challenge you this week is, um, and, I, and I, the only thing I don't like about this book is say it says, forget the mentor, get a sponsor. I don't say forget a mentor because I think mentors are important. Hey, Endure the Extreme, how are you? I think mentors are very important and I think you need to have mentors in your life. But I also strongly, strongly know and have seen in the last few years of my life, uh, now that I've kind of shift my focus a little bit more to sponsors, how important sponsors can be in your life. Um, and so, but I think with us, with women especially, sometimes we are in a position that we don't think about asking, hey, Rashonda Pratt, good to see you. 
we don't think about um, how important it is to have a sponsor in our life. And sometimes we don't want to ask people to help us. But we have got to get past that, girls. We have got to get past the reluctance of asking for help and seeking people who may be in a position to open a door for us. Um, I will tell you, me as one person who has opened doors for people and has had doors open for me, that I like to do that. And I will tell you that you will find so many other women, especially women, we like to help other women. Um, now, of course, yes, yes, give me some hearts and tap the screen. But we like to help other women. Um, and now, mind you, I know that there are some women who don't. And if those women are in your circle and you know who those are, then you don't ask them. But I will tell you, the vast majority of women do like to support each other. They do like to help each other. Um, they do like to, if they can um, open a door for you, they like to do that. So I want to challenge you this week. Um, this is the last week. Yeah, is it? Yeah, I was thinking it's the last week of July. July was the very first month of the second half of this year. I know that there are a lot of people who still have goals for 2016 that they want to jumpstart. I'm going to tell you and I'm going to share with you that success strategy tonight. If you want to jumpstart your career, if you want to jumpstart your goals for 2016, and I want you to look at it and take this last week of the first month of the second half of the year and identify people who could be a sponsor to you. Identify people who, as you look at your goals, can help open some doors and make some introductions. So if your goal is to um, uh, start doing media, you got Rashonda Pratt who is on this Periscope. You need to follow her um, at Rashonda Pratt. Rashonda, go ahead and put your stuff up there again. You need to reach out to Rashonda Pratt and see the kind of services that she can um, help you with to help you get some media. If your goal this year is to um, expand your business, think about somebody who is in a business that you're currently doing and uh, somebody that might can help you. And I'll share with you, I was particip I still am, but I'm participating this month in a, uh, a challenge uh, by um, TJ Mercer. Some of you know TJ, actually, I think I learned about TJ through Rashonda. But um, one of the challenges that she has this month, one of the things she was saying is reach out to somebody who's doing what you're doing. Somebody that you like and somebody that um, you would love to, to be introduced to and reach out to them on social media or something else. Especially nowadays, y'all. I will tell you, it's, more, it's easier now to connect with people that you didn't think you would be able to than it used to be because everybody's on social media. And for the most part, people, even if they have their staff or other people, they look at the messages that they get. They see things. So I will tell you... Um, through this challenge, hey Jamie Devine, good to see you, sweetheart. Y'all, that's my hubby. I love my dad. I love my hubby. <laughs> um, but um, people who um, who would love to know, you know, help you out, and so people that you follow, and so TJ actually challenged us to reach out to people that we follow that we may not know who might be doing what we want to do. I will tell you all that I reached out to three women that I have no, I don't know. I've just been following them on social media. They do similar things that I do. I, I've been encouraged by them. I've been inspired by them. And I reached out to all three, gave them a shout out, introduced myself. I will tell you, all three of them responded to me very positively. Uh, one of them suggested that she and I talk sometime in the future about what my goals are and how maybe we could do some stuff and work together. Um, and so this lady is not my sponsor yet. But I so certainly um, plan by the end of 2016 for her to be one of my sponsors, for her to be opening up some doors for me and making some introductions to me to really um, open up what I want to do in 2017 as a, as a goal. So I will tell you that um, it is now the time to move. It is the time to act. And so those of you, I, I hope that you're up for this challenge. I would love to hear from you how this challenge goes. But take this week, and I want you to identify. Yes, uh, you can, Diane, you can ask what I do. First time, I think. I am a success strategist and, po and founder of the Possibilities Institute, where I work with women leaders and moms, and I help them discover their leadership possibility, maximize their potential, and live a life 
that leaves a legacy. Thank you, uh, TT. Um, and I do that primarily through my, uh, my speaking engagements and through uh, courses and through my coaching program. I am a wife and I am a mom. I'm also a practicing attorney with my own law firm. I am an elected official here in Columbia, South Carolina. I've been serving the citizens of Columbia for 14 years. And when I was elected, I actually was the first African-American female elected to city council and the first African-American to be elected to an at-large seat um, when um, the majority is not African-American. Um, thank you so much, Rashonda. And I do them all, and I love all the positions that I have. Through all those positions, I feel like I empower people. I empower particularly women. Um, because I think that we always have so many things tugging at us, so many demands, and we don't always understand that, number one, God wouldn't give us more than we can chew, but that we as women, we have power, and we need to be in those positions of power. We need to be affecting change. Um, and so through that, I, I love what I do. Um, but anyway, uh, to go back to the challenge, I want to challenge all of you uh, to think this week about who... Um, is doing what you're, you you want to do. Who is in a position to open doors for you? Who can do? Um, who can help you get to that next level? And then I want you, after you make that list, I want you to reach out to some of those folks and see whether or not any of those folks would be inclined to be a sponsor for you. I will tell you that having a sponsor is not only very powerful for you and for your career, but it also can help you um, identify what is possible. You know, so many times we see things that are happening and we don't quite know um, through or we see things, but we don't quite truly believe that it can happen for us. We see other people doing it and we say, oh, that's great for them. We're happy for them, but we don't quite see that it can happen for us. And I will tell you that if you have a sponsor, somebody who can open the doors for you, you will start believing and seeing that those things can happen for you as well. So anyway, that was my quick scope tonight. And I wanted um, to share with you as a success strategy. So remember this week, and I want to hear from you, I want to hear from you how it goes this week. Find some sponsors. Find people that can sponsor you. Remember, for those of you who are just joining, remember this is a book and this woman hadn't paid me or anything, so I'm just promoting her. Um, I um, This is Forget a Mentor, Find a Sponsor. Okay, is that somebody else I need to block? I need to block somebody else. Okay, <laughs> but that is another, that is a book that I strongly encourage you all to get and think um, and find out a little bit more about sponsor, uh, but getting a sponsor. But anyway, those of you again who are new to me, um, remember you can always find me here at T.I. Divine on per Periscope and on Twitter. You can follow me on Facebook at Tamika Isaac Divine. Also, please check out my website, which is www.possibilitiesinstitute.com. There you can sign up for my email newsletter. Um, I will be doing some more things and sending out some more information in August about some new projects. And, um, um, well, I won't tell you too much, but some new projects that I'm working on that I think that you'll find some, uh, some great inspiration and empowerment from. But I look forward to connecting with you all again next Sunday at 730 for my success scope. Um, but until then, you all have a fabulous week. God bless, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay.